Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot and assistant. In this lesson we're going to study dividing decimals using mental math and our decimals will have up to three decimal digits. Here's an example, if I have six tenths divided by three, you can think of sharing equally. If you had six tenths and you're dividing that equally between three people, how much does each person get? The answer is very simple, right? Each person would get two tenths. Okay. Nothing much to that. Here the same idea works. I have 32 hundredths. And if I have four people sharing them equally, it's like in the picture. You see 32 pieces. So all I do in my mind is 32 divided by 4 equals 8. Each person would get 8 pieces. And those pieces are hundredths, right? So the answer is... Eight hundredths, written like this. Remember when there are two decimal digits, then you read it as hundredths. One decimal digit, tenths. This situation is a little bit different, because it looks like we cannot divide these two tenths between ten people. But let's say, you know, if you had a chocolate bar in that shape and you needed to divide it between ten people, you divide it further into smaller pieces, right? And we can do the same, okay? I can basically divide this whole thing in, into hundredths, just like it is here, right? So now my two tenths that are colored have become twenty hundredths. So my problem changed to twenty hundredths divided by ten. And now each person would get two hundredths. So that's like a little trick that we can use sometimes. Basically I tagged on an extra decimal zero into the number, and then my division was even, so to speak. Here, can you solve these on your own? Try some. Pause the video. Here I have 21 hundredths divided by 3. So I just think 21 divided by 3 equals 7, and my answer will be in hundredths, so I write 7 hundredths. What is it, Matthew? Oh uh, yeah, right. He says that he loves to think of this trick as, you know, for example here, 56 blueberry muffins divided between 7 people. He remembers the trick better using blueberry muffins. But it is actually 56 thousandths, right? Three decimal digits, so it is thousandths. So my answer is also in thousandths. Now here, 8 tenths divided by 10. I will use the trick of tagging a decimal zero here, so it becomes 80 hundredths. And then 80 divided by 10 is 8, and they will be hundredths, just like the blueberry trick again. This is the blueberry trick again. 3 divided by 10, same thing. Now I cannot just... I need to write it like this. 3.0, and think of it in my mind as 30 tenths. 30 tenths divided by 10 is 3 tenths. And, by the way, if you remember, you can check all this by multiplying. This times this has to equal this. 3 tenths times 10 has to equal 3. Okay, and it does. Here, looks like almost as if we had 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Right. But this is actually 1 and 8 tenths, or 18 tenths. So the answer will be 3 tenths. Here I have 4 tenths divided by 5. It looks like it's not an even division or not easy to do mentally, but what I can do is I can use this trick. Tag a zero, now I have 40 hundredths divided by 5, 8 hundredths, right? Over here, I'll do the same. Tag a zero here, but it's still not yet even. Another one, so now I have 200 thousandths divided by 100. So I get two thousandths, right? And one more, four divided by five, okay? Well, again, let me think in tenths and make it into forty tenths divided by five. My answer should be eight tenths. 